Hello to all our friends at MI Homes. Uh, my name is Julie Jansen. I'm the program manager of the Family and Children's Program um, at Alvis. And I'm sorry that I can't be with you all today. I'm sure I would see some familiar faces from years past. Um, we have things keeping us separated, um, but I'm glad that I can do at least this video to talk about what's been happening in the past year since we were together last for last year's holiday cheer and what we're going to move forward with this year. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with our program, I manage the Family and Children's Program, and we pr provide parenting classes as well as case management services to um, clients who have typically are finishing out a prison or incarceration sentence at one of our uh, residential facilities. Um, they are currently separated from their children due to incarceration, and we work on rebuilding the family and strengthening the family uh, relationship with them uh, with educational programming, support, case management services, and typically in the past, we did a lot of programming together with the moms and the children so they could come together on Saturdays, work on some of the skills that they've been learning in our program, and also work on reconnecting and rebuilding that bond with each other. So you don't need me to tell you that the past eight months have been uh, a challenge and we've had to rethink and rewire what we do um, since we are separated by COVID. We are still providing all of our educational programming and our case management services. Those services have been uninterrupted. Uh, what has changed is that our um, parents are not able to have visits with their children due to the COVID pandemic. And in our responsibility for our clients and keeping everyone safe, the decision was made to terminate visitation. So while of course we agree with that decision and we wanna keep everyone safe and healthy, this has been truly devastating to our parents who have not been able to have any kind of contact with their children since March. So we have tried to come up with many creative ways to keep the, those connections going. We've done a lot of creative projects, crafts, things that we're sending in the mail, uh, books that we're reading over video, FaceTime, texting. We're using all the technology we can to keep families connected, but it has certainly been an impact to not be able to see each other. Uh, there's nothing that can replace a hug or a touch between a parent and a child. Um, but we're, we're doing what we can to keep things going, as is the rest of the world as well. Um, another new and exciting addition to our programming this year is we have expanded our services to include the gentlemen who reside at our Elm Creek facility. So these are dads who are also completing the last part of a, um, they are just as involved and they're completing the last part of a, a, a jail or prison sentence in our facility. And we've started a men's, a, a dad's program with them. We've started by offering the 10 week parenting program. It's been a, a great journey for me to start working with these gentlemen who are truly so hungry for support. They are truly looking for a way to connect with their children, to build a relationship, to create a relationship, to learn how to have a relationship with a child. We've been, um, really talking about the impact of fatherlessness on children and the role that a dad can play and how important that role is because we know statistically what happens to children who grow up without a father. We're also really exploring what the role of the father is, especially working with a group of men who uh, in many cases grew up without a father themselves and now are trying to learn how to be that father um, and, and what they can do uh, to have an impact on their children's lives. So I left it up to the gentleman to come up with a name for the group and uh, the winning name for our parenting program is hashtag dads matter. And I think that's absolutely perfect because that's exactly what we're trying to uh, explore is how dads matter. Well, thank you all very much for being, being there today and being interested in our program. And we so look forward to being back together, hopefully, uh, next year, 2021. Uh, but for now, I extend my thanks to you and hope to see you all soon. Thank you, MI Homes.